This is Labyrinth TV Network. My name is Law Farley, and today we are here on the farm of Sustainable Agriculture uh, Program, which is SAP, uh, that is owned and operated by Mr. Davison Bali. And we will talk to him very uh, shortly. And this is the cassava farm, uh, of course, we is here. And we are here with some media colleague, uh, Paul Rense, is here. Mr. Rense, welcome. Yeah, thank you very much. What do you make of uh, this entire you know, uh, project, which is in Benji? Well, it's commendable. The fact is that uh, we can see a Grand Julian or a Liberian venturing in this kind of projects. We see it as, as, as a good way to go. Uh, a lot of people feel that Liberia should only eat, Liberia should only eat rice, all right? But we have staple food, including cassava that we see here today. So if people can be trained and that their minds can be developed such that they can grow this kind of produce, uh, that is a very good thing. Uh, actually, uh, uh, I want to commend SAP, that is the Sustainable Agricultural Program in Liberia, for this kind of projects. It's important because from time to time, you know, a lot of people would learn from him. He, got, he, he has also built a capacity, also employ a lot of people to work here. So it's important. It's, it's impactive in the society. Look, so, look, uh, looking at the ideal uh, situation, especially this is the road uh, going to Zwejo and uh, going to the Moravia side and see the farm almost 100 hectares. Uh, uh, what is it signaling to other who are visiting the county? Well, I, I, I see it as as an opportunity for the owner of this farm to find an ideal market. All right, because okay. people from here will see the farm and people from this world will see the farm. So if you have your customers coming from Morovia or some from Grand Gita or from River G, it makes it easier to access the farm. All right, so it, it's an enabling environment for them to uh, to have uh, 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 the close opportunity to the, the, the customer or to the buyer. So it's a very good thing. Again, we have to encourage other people to do likewise. All right, sometimes you might not be doing it only in cassava. You can do it in, in, in paddy rice, that is swamp rice. You can also do it in arable crops, all right? When you talk about pepper, you know, uh, uh, bitter balls and things like that, vegetable to be precise. So uh, it's a very good thing. And people, I think when we look at industrial farming, it, it, it has a lot of positive impacts on society because you will not only grow it for, for your family and, and yourself, you grow it for a bigger society and for the country as a whole. So I must commend Sam for that. Bali Dole for short. Mr. Ronse, thank you for talking to us. Yeah, nice to you. And of course, he's my media colleague, and we have come on the farm of SAP. And of course, very shortly, we talked to Mr. Dole Bali, who is the executive director of SAP on this project. Until then, you have a pleasant day. And of course, keep watching Labyrinth TV Network. My name is Law Fali. Yeah, so I was asking the yes. majority of the cassava. We look at two types of cassava yeah. we got the bitter and the sweet yeah. the bitter is referred to as industrial cassava okay. and uh, the sweet is you know is called to uh referred to as uh, the pan table okay. and so to answer your question this is the sweet cassava okay. because there have been and there and there is no cassava that is here that, that contains cyanide content they are all sweet cassava. Okay. Yeah. Oh. So I'm seeing they are they are growing very healthy and everything. Do you did you add any fertilizer to no. make them to grow like this? This cassava will produce on dilutely. Okay. We never uh, apply any uh, fertile yeah, okay. ingredient to the soil. Okay. The soil, as you can see. Naturally, it, it contains the nutrients that are required. And the good thing about it, this particular soil is, is, cassava, is cassava soil. Okay, yeah. Because I wanted to it's, ask how they do this side. It's sandy lume. Okay. You know, cassava uh, uh, produces well mm -hmm. in a good soil, like a sandy lume. Okay. Mm -hmm. But not clay. Right. So as you can see, the topography of the clay will tell you, yeah. and the physical structure of the soil will tell you. That it has some sandy content in it. That's good. Yeah. All right. Now, how, how long does it take for the cassava to get ripe for reaping? Yeah, we 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 schedule it considering the level that we want to go. Uh, mm -hmm. We intend to produce the cassava purposely for processing. Okay. So we're taking it for one year. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
Is it? You can use it for any purpose or was it a specific purpose? Like, you can use it. You can use it and carry it, go prepare your GB and all that stuff. Yeah, it's pandable. That's why I said this, they are all sweet cassava. Mm. About so you can use it for any purpose? Yeah, any purpose. Mm. You know, like for you now, the, the less swelling GB or fufu. <laughs> that can be used for that. <laughs> so when, when do we expect your, your first? I know, yeah, besides as soon as harvest, possible. I know it. You are intending to produce Super Gary here. Yeah? yeah, Super Gary. So we wanted to know yeah. when will be your first Our first know, harvest, harvest it, should, it should be around October. Okay. October, we should start harvesting. Okay. Yeah, because uh, taking into account the largeness of the farm. Yes. We can't wait in diamond to the time. Yeah. Uh, cassava is a, a handsome, a perishable uh, characteristics. Yes. Especially when they stay a long time in the soil. So as soon as... We 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 pass September first in October. We should be harvesting. Right. Yeah. So I know the issue of storage has been a major problem to yeah. the agricultural activity in this country. Mm. Now that you know also that cassava is also operational. Right? Yeah. What is your storage level? Here? Do you have our storage level? We are putting in place all mechanisms. I think today we just witness uh, training that how to do with community. Uh, in bagging on processing. Yeah. Uh, as you may be aware, uh, this project supports both the community and that of the institution. Yeah. So when it comes to the, the storage, we are putting in processes that have to do with processing of the cassava. Yeah. So it done with to harvest and sell. Okay. But to harvest, preserve. And how do we do what? Uh, the preservation method. We uh, we process it in into a very form. Gary where we are setting off uh, many present centers in all the communities, okay. especially about five communities in Grand Jira and five in Rubaji. And we're also building a factory. I think uh, you may see some uh, structure towards Rayu, okay, yeah. somewhere around there. We are building a factory, a factory that will, that will contain oh. about 200 cassava bear a day okay. with the factory, just for processing into uh, the raw product into uh, Preservative in products. Okay. I'll do a gari dominantly, mm -hmm. followed by deeper fufu. So, so that means after October, we should start seeing side process obviously, gari on the market. Obviously, obviously. This is why we are ensuring all the needed requirement for processing. Okay. Yeah. Are you going to sell it yourself? Are you going to give it to businesses? We we are going to be the the producer. Okay. Meaning yeah. you will come to our petit trader. Yeah. You know, the project is a win-win you know, project, meaning the, the institution, the client, and the community. So we'll be selling wholesale while the petit traders, uh, the, the aggregators, will be buying wholesale and then carrying it and selling it on a retail basis. I see. Yeah. So what is the sustainability plan? The sustainability plan mm -hmm. is that from here, even though uh, you say it's dealing with for uh, number of three years, mm -hmm. so. So we raise our, own, our income, and this income are intended to, for reinvestment. Okay. So this is a this is a program, but not a project. Okay. And the project has a specific cycle. Yeah. But in our own context, as a local, if not second to not in Grand Jire, okay. we are putting in place sustainability plan that has to do with reinvesting the proceeds into. This year we cultivated about 65 acres. Next year we talk about wow, double A. Okay. So, yes. 65 plus 65. Could you imagine? So, from here all the way to New to Old Solo Town, we will do that. Yeah. Alright, so, Mr. Dolebari, thank you for the time. It's a pleasure. Mm. You are welcome. Thank you.